after video actions enables you to choose what happens to a video player when someone's done watching the video. And I'm going to show you how to set this feature up in this video. Here I am in a blog post where I've added a video just as you normally would. And this works with all of our video integrations. So I'll click on the player right here and we have our options as normal on the right. This is going to be under presets. So I'm going to click on add a new preset and I'll give it a name here in the top right. Now these options are going to be found under the behavior tab here. So I'll click on behavior and I'll scroll down and you can see right here it says on video end and there's a drop down. So to start, we have two options for this. You can loop the video, which would simply mean when the video is over, it will start over again in the beginning. And there's also go to start and that doesn't play the video again. It just goes back to showing the thumbnail and the play button that you would have at the start of a video before you click play. So I'm going to choose go to start. Then on the bottom right, I'll click on create preset. I have that preset selected. I'll click on update. And then right here, I'm going to click on view post. OK, so here's my video. I'll go ahead and click on play. It's a short video and we're going to see at the end of this 10 or 15 second video, it's going to go back to how it was at the start. Four, three, two, one and here is the after video action there you go it's exactly how it was when i started the video now this is going to be very useful if you use youtube as your source video because at the end of a youtube video they like to show the different related videos at the end of the video this will enable you to avoid that now i also want to show you a third option of what you could do at the end of a video that's not necessarily related to this feature, but it's related to one of our other features, and that's to show a call to action at the end of the video. And this is one that I use frequently. So I'll go back into edit post and we'll go back into those preset options. I'll click on the video. I'll scroll down on the right and I'll click right here on the edit icon for that new preset. And so this is going to be under the call to action. And so if I enable this, you can have it display at a specific point, but when that's set to 100%, it will show at the very end of the video. And we can also have this nice rewatch option right here. So for this, you would just fill out a headline and some button text. So I've gone ahead and entered a headline and some button text. And these are all optional. You can also have a bit of text underneath the headline. You don't have to have a button. It's completely up to you. And you can also have this really nice rewatch. So this is one option. I'm going to toggle this off. Let me go back. And the other option is email capture. So I'm going to enable this and I'll make this appear at the end of the video. And you can fully customize this as well. The headline, the text, as well as the text right here in the button. You can completely customize this exactly how you would like to customize it as well. So these are two additional options and, and features that you might not have known are there of what you can have happen at the end of a video. And so that's how you add these after video actions to your videos.